here's my current setup as it is so you see lots of connection between chipset block and CPU block uh, connection get crossed out so I find out that it's very difficult to drain the system as uh, too much water get trapped inside so this is a problem so I will try to change layout in such way that um, water will get out of the those uh, blocks in um, like easier and uh, the force of uh, gravity so we'll see what I can do we'll do use 90 degree fittings this time screw the flow I will put two pumps in series and this will help and uh, I'm still deciding between heat killer and supreme chef and um, we'll see we'll try both maybe and I'll see which one looks better all right so we'll start disassembling and we'll keep filming okay on guys that was mission impossible but I think I figured it out eventually for any other person it's unlikely <laughs> it's possible to do because you need to try too many parts before you can figure out what works and what's not I tried two other blocks Supreme HF nickel version and heat killer um, co full copper version and both of them I couldn't make a nice connection between MOSFET and CPU because they are on a different level so I have to use different adapters to my, try to make sure they they equal why well, it's important because those 90 degree uh, adapters they um, rotaries and they're very sensitive to the um, angling them if you push too hard they will start leaking so I have to make sure there's no additional tension with those so the only version that I was able to come up out was uh, this orientation vertical I can't do it horizontal at all so it will be vertical so uh, those two MOSFETs I can connect without any trouble but the problem was between those two so I'll have a two uh, two types of adapters here and two other types of adapters there so let me assemble it and I'll show you what Let's I'm have a look about. at MOSFETs first that was rather simple uh, all I needed is uh, to avoid interference between mounting mechanism and the tubing so I have to lift the whole assembly up so I use two 20 millimeter spacers and two 90 degrees barbs and just stick piece of tube between those two uh, I don't think the clumps are really required here um, I doubt there will be any leak or anything so um, I just leave it as it is and test it out if any problems I will drain it and put clumps and uh, now I let me assemble the other part and we'll have a look here which okay, is now to complex. CPU part so as you see I have to use two different spacers to make the leveling between two barbs equal on one side I have a 20 millimeter spacer and 7 millimeter spacer on CPU inlet side I have a 10 millimeter spacer and uh, another 7 millimeter spacer which gives you like perfect uh, alignment between the barbs um, tube, tube looks a little bit crooked but it just because I put it in it was quite tight um, so actually uh, uh, those fittings uh, they are very much equal so if you do water cooling of those gigabyte boards that's what I would you recommend to buy um, or stay away from the chipset cooling it's as simple Going as that down for connection between CPU and chipset block the winning combination is uh, 90 degree fittings on the CPU I have a 7 millimeter spacer and 10 millimeter spacer on a chipset block that's give you even um, level for those two fittings so now we're moving and see what we can do with um, a graphical card and um, CPU block this will be a temporary solution because I would like to try those new EK um, plastic bridges, uh, acetal bridges, but um, for the meanwhile uh, we'll try to do the same SLI connection as Find I had the in the GPU previous area. Video. As you see is the same as the last build I took uh, 45 degree adapter and 45 degree fitting to move uh, tubing away from the card because it's uh, otherwise it's uncomfortably close to PCB and here I use a 20 millimeter adapter and another 90 degree fitting so that's the uh, final version for now so a little bit less uh, mess comparing with uh, my second attempt so we'll see how things will go here hopefully no leaking there's lots of abuse with this board 
And uh, by the way, I got some, I don't know, possibly crazy idea, but um, I probably will run with it. So you see here, I use a 90 degree fitting, but this is a huge case. So I actually, I can move tubing behind in cable area, run it behind the board, so I don't cross my entire build with this tube, which are always bothering me, and run it back to the radiator. So uh, doesn't seem that uh, a tube uh, tube squished at all. So I don't know. We'll see. But um, I will definitely give it a thought and uh, possibly will will use it. So I don't have a tube crossing in time motherboard, which is um, always something that I didn't like. So you see, I'm like a cleanness freak. Uh, anyways, so uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, We'll see what's uh, coming next. I'm not even sure myself.